Hi guys, how we doing? Sorry, I just kind of sat and stared at the screen for just a second there. Um, so we're back with another day. I am kind of motivating myself slowly here and knocking things down because why not? I know what I'm looking for, I'm just not seeing it. Did I actually put something away? Yes, I did. Happens occasionally, right? So, I am motivationally challenged today a little bit, but I did manage to get out here and do at least a little something. I think everybody has that day where they're just kind of in the mood to chill. But I am on a timeline. I do have, you know, I want to get this done in a certain amount of time. So that does mean I need to get my tail out here and do it All right. So right now what I'm doing is mixing the blue for her pants. There we go. I think I actually want just a little hint more of the teal kind of color showing through. We want it to tie in. And not clash completely. Which is why I added a little bit of pinky to that brown for the other one. There we go. That's kind of the color I wanted. It's not perfect, but it's, it's pretty good. I'm happy with it. I am happy the sun decided to come out for me. It's been just a little bit dreary out there today. Not really raining, not really even threatening to, just kind of cloudy and dark. I think that's a lot of my motivational issues. I swear I thrive on sunshine. There we go. actually came out to be a really nice shade of blue. There we go. So I did something today I don't normally do and actually it was a lot of fun. Started making breakfast and realized we didn't have enough bread. We didn't have any instant biscuits. Um, you can't have a really big breakfast with no type of bread, right? And I didn't want to run to the store. So I made biscuits from scratch today. If you've never done that, I actually recommend trying it. It's actually not nearly as hard as you would think it would be. And there is a satisfaction... And munching on something that you made from scratch. That really just cannot be described. You have to feel it. That is just a gorgeous, nice, rich blue. I like that a lot. I am happy with my mixing abilities today. 
Sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. Today is an am. And I do apologize if I'm getting my head in there. I'm trying not to. But it's easier said than done when you have an odd spot like that. The whole reason I did this particular piece last of the three children's statues is because I really had to hem and haw over how I wanted to go about it. Because as soon as I was given this piece, I decided I, I knew exactly what I wanted to do, where I wanted it to go. And of course, once it becomes something like that, it is it's important that it kind of shows its meaning at least a little bit. But you don't want to go super crazy and be, like, trying to turn them into a cat and a bird. Because that that gets a little strange. Um, though I own my status as the crazy pet lady pretty openly, there are limits to my crazy. And as much as I miss the ones that have passed... You know, that is unfortunately a side of pet owning that you kind of have to learn to accept. It does happen. You can't let it take away from your surviving pets or new pets that come into your life that still need you. But that's not to say you need to just forget that they existed. There we go. This is really a cute little piece. Well, that was special. I did the top half and was just going to leave the bottom. No big deal, right? As I said, I'm kind of off my game today. Sometimes you just struggle a little bit. I do apologize. I know I'm not quite as talkative today. Sometimes you just kind of have to make yourself get up and do the thing. Today I was very much in a let me sit and veg kind of mood. I've been kind of researching and trying to figure out how to go about creating another channel for Deimos. Because I'd prefer to keep it attached to this one to some degree. I'm not looking to make a whole new Google account and everything just for that. If it's going to make me do all that, I'll probably just keep him on this channel. But... You'd be surprised on any level of this stuff how much research actually goes into. It's not just, oh, hey, I'm going to do a thing. It's 
you really have to look into things and figure out the best way to go about it and sometimes figure out if it's possible. So, I will let you guys know one way or another on that once I have some solid answers. There we go. And I did add a little bit of one of my color shifts into this just to add that shimmer and shine and just a little hint of more to the color. I definitely like the tone it turned out to be. There we go. And I do know I'm a little bit quiet when I'm getting into some of these little details, but Sometimes it takes a little bit more concentration, and if I'm trying to figure out what I'm trying to, what I need to say, I can make some oopses. It's better, I think, to just hush for a second and focus on what I'm doing. Oh, there went my sunshine. Deimos is doing well, if you were wondering. Um, I'm not going to do a short on him today. I'm in the process of t getting him used to a harness so that we can kind of move him around a bit more and let him have time outside without him being in danger. We have far too many predators in this area to just let him out and take a chance of him getting lost or something or not hearing a predator coming. But now we have the outfits done, and that actually went easier than I expected it to. So we actually still have a few more minutes. I think I might start kind of doing some grass tones here, since I have it, have the time to do it. And What's it hurt to go ahead and start the details, right? And I even thought to pick up some just good old-fashioned green paint. And I really debated if I was going to do this as grass or dirt or water, because it kind of looks like that too. I did decide that I think water is, or grass is the way to go, since they are going to be sitting in a very grassy area. I think that makes the most sense. And I just realized... I'm going to bring you guys down just a little bit here. I 
Boy, that little dot didn't want to go away, did it? I don't know if I'm going to go ahead and do the whole base right now or if I'm going to just kind of get a suggestion done. The speed that it's going, we might go ahead and just get it done because it does seem to be taking the paint quite well, doesn't it? I'm actually rather thrilled with how well this is coming about. And I may come over this and just kind of add some depth with different shades, lights and grays, or lights and darkers, but this is a great, I think it's about a perfect base color for it. Maybe some hints of brown and stuff in there. Just to make it look a little bit more real. But for right now, we want to get a good suggestion of color. And I'm not super worried where I'm accidentally bumping into their legs and stuff. If I need to, I can go back over it with the primer or even just white paint. Or we can be realistic that little girls sitting on a bench in the in the middle of a grassy spot are probably not going to have perfectly clean feet and legs. So, either way, whichever way I decide to go with it, it'll make sense. I think these are leaves coming up here of some sort or another. Might be parts of the bench, I don't know yet. We can always paint over them or add to them if we need to. Hmm. Sneaky little spots there. And if you guessed I was looking through the camera for a second there, you would have been correct. Mostly I was poking my head over to check my time, but I also figured I'd take a peek and see if there was anything I was missing through you guys' point of view. And of course there was. Now the back of this I'm not going to go as crazy on because it kind of devolves into almost more suggestion of sculpture than actual sculpture back here. There's not nearly as much dimension to it. It's just kind of there. But, this is not going to be somewhere where the back is particularly visible, so it's not something I'm super stressed about. These guys are going to be basically sitting in front of a tree. So... I'm not one who's going to just not do it because it's not going to show, but I am one who's not going to take nearly as crazy attention to detail for something that's going to be backed up to a tree. There we 
go. This part's going a lot quicker, isn't it? Gee, I wonder why. I do apologize. I just went, realized I went all quiet on you again. It's kind of challenging sometimes when you're not a chatterbox to basically make yourself be one for even 20 to 30 minutes at a time. Sometimes you really have to conscien consciously keep yourself talking, which is kind of challenging sometimes but I mean worst case you get to sit and hear the brush strokes and stuff which is at least in my eyes almost along the lines of an ASMR kind of deal it just has a relaxing sound to me there we go so we are covered up to that. So what I'm going to do real quick is tilt you guys up a bit and then we're going to scoot them back so you can kind of see the the basic idea is really starting to come through and I actually love it. So this is going to go in so well as I said with where we have the two we lost laid to rest so tomorrow we'll come in and probably do some details uh, get the bench done and maybe look at the book and then next week we'll get started on their hair and skin so until then I'll talk to you guys later